Hey everyone, it's Franz from Med Mastery. I have another study review for you. The study I want to present to you today looked at supplemental oxygen in the setting of STEMI. So check it out. The study's title is Air vs. Oxygen in ST Segment Elevation Myocardial Infarction by Diane Stubb et al. from Melbourne, Australia. It was published in circulation in June 2015. These authors conducted a multi-center randomized controlled trial that evaluated the effectiveness of supplemental oxygen in STEMI patients. And here's how it worked. Paramedics identified STEMI patients for inclusion into the trial. Patients were included if they had ST elevation or a new left bundle branch block and an oxygen saturation of equal or greater than 94%. They were excluded if they were on oxygen therapy before randomization or if bronchospasm was judged to be present. They recruited a total of 638 patients to receive 8 liters per minute of oxygen by face mask or no supplemental oxygen, or in other words, room air. Oxygen was started in the ambulance, continued throughout the procedure in the cath lab, and terminated in the ward. 197 patients had to be excluded because of various reasons like pre-hospital protocol violations, patient refusal of consent, or because the physician in the hospital changed the diagnoses. So they ended up with a total of 441 STEMI patients who ultimately underwent coronary intervention. 218 of whom received supplemental oxygen and 223 did not. The study's primary outcome was infarction size as measured by cardiac enzymes, troponin I, and creatinine kinase. The secondary outcomes were infarction size as measured by cardiac MRI six months after randomization and in-hospital reinfarction. And here are the results. Troponin was 57.4 micrograms per liter in the oxygen group versus 48 micrograms per liter in the room air group. So pretty similar. CK, very different situation. Mean peak CK levels were 1,948 units per liter in the oxygen group versus 1,543 units per liter in the room air group. P-value 0.01, so significant. How about infarction size as assessed by MRI? Infarction mass as expressed in grams was 20.3 grams in the oxygen group versus 13.1 grams in the room air group. P-value 0.04, also significant. And what about in-hospital re-MI? That was 5.5% in the oxygen group versus 0.9% in the room air group. P-value 0.006 so highly significant. These findings are really quite intriguing, don't you think? I mean, the study really suggests that what we've been doing all these years, giving oxygen to our STEMI patients, might not do them any good. In fact, we might even harm them doing it. So it would probably be a better idea to leave it all out entirely. One more thought. You heard about cardiac MRI in the study review. In fact, if you want to learn more about cardiac MRI, you might want to check out our CMR or cardiac MRI course that we're offering through the Met Mastery membership. Otherwise, I wish you a great day, have a great learning experience on our site, and I hope to talk to you soon.